Hello everyone and welcome to Spiral Knights Impractical. This is Lattice and Sclay, and guess what? When you do the wave animation with a bomb, it looks kind of derpy. All right, so we're back on Apocria again. Why? Isn't this getting kind of boring? Well, yes, I suppose. Uh, we have one primary goal, so this shouldn't. Hopefully, assuming we find an Apocria quickly, this shouldn't, or a Harvester quickly, this shouldn't be a problem. A plateau, rather. And I just logged on, so I'm going to get all of the resource spawn lag. As I start to do things, things are going to lag pretty heavily. It's not going to be fun. So, let's just... Gorgos that cut right through my shield. That's wonderful. That's minerals. I don't care for... Here's our goal. Kill it with fire. If the title didn't tip you off, that's what we're doing. Let's get rid of this, because I want to. So we have got, we are going to kill, our mission is to go in and kill the harp. seriously? Kill the harvester with fire, and then get out. Just one level, one time, and of course we're on tier 2 because that's where I'm at. Well, i try to get tier 2 anyways because it'd be easier. So if you can't peek at my loadout already, we got the combustor of course, the fang of Og, and I'd have brought a magma driver instead of the uh, combustor if I had one but I don't and then the ash of agony so this is how we're gonna be doing it and I don't even know if he will light on fire or not that will be one of the big questions and if he does light on fire there will be a question of well does he take fire damage equivalent to undeads or fiends or what because the different classes of monsters exhibit different behaviors towards fire. You know what? Forget you guys. No. Stop getting my way. Nope, not even gonna free you. Which way do we have to go? We have to go through here. It's the best way to do this. Jump. And get out. Okay. We're good. Of course, this just because it's silly to watch the tentacles do nothing. The tentacles start to spawn around me at the beginning, always. Like the the base tentacle spawns around, but they don't know what to do if you're invisible. So it does use player tracking to some extent, but it stops. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to start running. If we find a plateau, I will get back to you guys, and all we're gonna do is light the guy on fire. I will actually be carrying all of this gear all the way through every arena too. So we'll see what we get here. Well, disappointedly, this is the first room in the run, and I'm kind of speed running it because I don't even want to deal with these guys. Oh no, that's not good. <laughs> okay, I guess we're dealing with these guys without choice. My masquerade looked like a fiend coming at me. That scared me for a second. Okay, I guess we're doing this anyways. Fiends don't stay on fire for very long. They take three ticks of fire damage and then go out. Constructs, on the other hand, burn for significantly longer. Will he burn to death, please? No, he probably won't. Nope, he won't. Oh no. Okay, goodness. Okay, come on. The 142 damage. Okay, I will take that heals. That's actually helpful. Thank you for that. I suppose it was worth it. We can skip that fiend and almost touch the shock barrier, except not skip whatever's. This is one of those rooms that zigzags. You can see it on the map. And we're going to skip that. We can get him. Alright, so armor-wise, I have my volcanic demo helm because that is my bombing helmet because I was a bomber before Chaos got buffed a while back to include the charge time reduction medium and the damage bonus medium. But I do have the Chaos armor. The Chaos cowl. So, no. Also, Soakwing is also included in the Fiend family so they don't burn for very long. So generally, as far as fire goes, poison is a better idea, shock is a better idea, fire, it works, it's not the most ideal. I mean, the fact that it's damage per second always helps, there's not a reason why it wouldn't help. Like, setting an oiler on fire obviously doesn't help, trying to freeze an ice cube doesn't help. Slimes are special with their statuses like that, trying to a status a status slime is not a good thing. But everything's good, it's just some things are more effective than others. For instance, zombies, which 
Combustor just inherently does more damage. It's faster. And the trade-off is here. Let's check this out. So, 121. And 108. So, it's faster. Combustor's faster. It does more damage. Why would I ever use the Fang of Og? Well, because the charge is significantly more powerful, and it can cause fire on every swing. That's why it can do that. And light guys on fire, so that they stay on fire, and burn for a very, very long time if they're undead. I can't remember what the exact number is. Once again, to calculate the fire, you take the amount of... And this is the correction that I need to make. It's regardless of whether it's the enemy attacking you or you attacking the enemy. It's you take the amount of damage being done and you subtract the armor that is inherent to the person getting beat on. I would usually use my hammer for these. I'll have to show you the way I fight cats with my hammer. And yes, even though they're silly tier 2 cats, I still get hit. What are you going to do? I can't remember what Cats' things are. Anyways, Combustor is plus four, um, Fang of Vogue is plus four, and then you'd subtract whatever the armor is, and for Fiends, it's something, like, really high. I want to say six, but I'm not positive on that, so you'd have, like, a negative two status that's being dealt. That actually sounds exactly right. Let's get on with it. All right, everyone, welcome back. I've got a story to tell you, so we're back where we left off. We're back at depth 17, and it's another infernal level. So we're just going to continue this, but here's what happens. Uh, it was last night that I was recording this run, and I finished the whole thing. I won't tell you what happened, but I will show you some of the footage I had. But my mic decided to stop working halfway through the recording, and all of a sudden the mic just died, and there's no more vocal audio. And I... Are you serious? I hate poison, by the way. Don't let that blow up on me. I feel like this is going to be so much worse now, just because we had a good run going, and I feel like it went well, all things considered, and suddenly... This was a, a undead arena last time, and we got some fiends now, which is fine. And hey. But I'm resetting with all of my vials and such, because I don't have what I used to have which I don't remember actually using anything in the last uh, run anyways, which is also fine. But it, yeah, so we're kind of, we're redoing this in a sense. For you, it may, it won't seem that way, but for me, this is take two. Why are these guys still getting a single shot in every time? Goodness sakes, hold still. Okay. Can we do anything to get those guys from here? I wonder if this will work. I know he can hit me. Is there a direct line of sight for this to happen? He jumped. Oh. Well, is it, this is next level strats. Assuming I don't get hit in return. Oh, the fire killed him. One interesting thing about fire, I don't know if I can't remember if I mentioned this or not, I might have, is that initially upon lighting on fire, an enemy takes one point of damage, just like that. Just for lighting on fire, it he takes a pip of, or a, a tick of fire damage, and then three more following normally. Fiends take two more following because they are resistant. They have some enough resistance to fire for that to be the case. Look at my health. It's already abysmally bad. I did start with 100%. So that was kind of sad. Ah, <sighs> Well, we can redo this. Still looking for same objective. I don't really need to say this again. I'm more saying it for myself than anything else. Look at these Gorgos dodging. Kill it with fire. We just want to kill the thing, kill the harvester with fire. These dodges, and if it was three, I'd be much more scared because they can cover a lot of ground with a bite. Gorgos travel very far. I think they're slightly unbalanced. I'd rather fight a horde of Grievers than a horde of Gorgos any day because Gorgos or uh, Grievers are actually immensely easy to fight. If that was a tier three Gorgo, he would have hit me. Let's just say it like that. And I don't think I was as specific as I wanted to be in the first one, so I'll take that opportunity now. No. Um, he must die from fire damage, not from direct damage. So we gotta light him on fire, get his health down, light him on fire, and then leave him be. So. And I wasn't sure before if he, if we could light the harvester on fire. We can. Um, evidence from last run tells me that we can light the thing on fire, so. 
that's what we will do. Breach and clear. Okay, howitzers, I believe, have zero resistance to fire, so they just burn for four ticks, which is good enough for me. So we will actually let him, let them burn to death and work on you. I thought you would die. Whoa. And then you're done. That was about as efficient as you get. Of course, with fire, because you leave something burning, fire plus poison does not increase the amount of damage that an enemy takes, so he won't take more fire damage just because you have him poisoned. Not like it matters on this level, but... Are we gonna find a rock jelly? A rock jelly? Nope. Okay. Well, moving on. So, four points, three ticks if it's a fiend, because as we just came from a feed level and we're doing more fiends, at least it's not a fire level, because that would just make this very inconvenient. And I still kind of want to speed through this. I think that's what we'll do. We can skip this room. Especially since it's just filled with Gorgos and healers and I can't poison them. It's kind of silly. Let's just get out of here. Gorgos, also probably worth killing with fire, but not right now. Maybe we'll do another fiend run and we'll go down to the... Whatever. Oh, the elevator. Let's just do that. Why go anywhere else? There's probably minerals at the end of that since we haven't seen the mineral room. Maybe we'll go down to the Stygian Steeds level and kill everything in there with fire. That would be kind of fun. Also annoying because fiends and fire don't work well. You also take less fire damage, so that's a thing too. Alright, if we don't get one here, this is the level of Emberlight that we're headed to. If we don't get one here, it will be guaranteed at depth 19. As is we got one here, so maybe we can just finish this right now. I think the first thing that I want to do is find the elevator. I think that's a very good thing. They just had a patch today, which made it, I said earlier in a video, that remember the three candles and you touch the three candles on the dais that I found, and if you get it wrong it explodes, but if you get it right, I have no reason to cut any of these actually. I don't want any grave scarabs around. And that's the sign. Okay, so we only have one direction to go. That's good. There's a key thing up there. Anyway, the dais, if you try and activate it and you get it wrong, it damages you, which is good. I think that's what was intended because there's an explosion. It doesn't just doesn't actually do anything. And you could just brute force trial and error until you won. So I want to find the elevator first, and then we'll fight around the elevator. The tricky thing, I'll, I'll include footage at the end of this, so stay tuned through the end to the first kill. It won't have my voice because, again, it didn't record my voice, unfortunately. Because uh, silly audio is silly. We'll also stay down because I feel like I was going on about a thought. Oh yes, well, a tricky thing is to not let him despawn. We can't go invisible, we can't go into the candlelight because if he melts on his own, then we gotta try again and that's just less health to us every time we have to try again. I want to stay low because Sprout Knights has this interesting mechanic that I'm sure some of you know where there, you can see much more above you than you can below you. Let's say this tombstone is the reference. It, this tombstone is the reference point. I can see about there, but if I'm standing here, I can see everything above me for quite a ways. Where here, I can just barely see it from one set of tombstones away. We're gonna keep running in one direction so that we stay away from his tentacles, which it doesn't even seem like he launched. So this is a lockdown boon if you aren't aware. You sh especially if you do charged gunshots, I think is one of the best things to do. Or if you need to get out of someone's line of sight for a little bit, hide south of them. as Because if I have a gun, right, and I'm charging it up from here, I can shoot someone right there, right here. And he won't be able, he'll hardly be able to see me. From here, for sure, I can just shoot and won't see. So that's a lockdown thing. Very tempted to break some of these, but I guess we won't do that. We're just looking for the elevator. Oh, elevator. I suppose I can talk about this too. We got our, I told you this already, I think. I'm not sure. Volcanic Demo Helm and Chaos Cowl. So we have zero fire. I think I will continue to Fang of Vog charge. Uh, I was thinking about this last time. I actually do like the Fang of Vog. It's really a fun weapon to use. There's not a lot of reason to use it, as I've said. But, oh no, I'm gonna get caught here. I had to stop. Run! Nope. Remember what I said last time? You have to keep running. If you stop for anything, if you bump into something, he will catch up to you if you don't use your dash. Even with my dash, I stopped for long enough cutting those that he still caught me. 
So that was silly. We'll break loose at about the same time the buff D turns off. There we go. Uh, coming out of the cloak does not, never has, and just does not increase your movement speed. The speed up is for attack speed. It seems to increase your movement speed, but it doesn't. This is the Trojan Room. I mentioned this um, a while back. None of these actually spawn anything. Oh, really? Keep running. I don't know. I wasn't running in a straight line. They may catch me. Got away. You kill all four of them, and it, you break all four Trojans, and we get a key. So we'll do that, and we can see the key up there. I'm hoping that the elevator is just this way. I don't want to keep searching bottom to top exhaustively, but we might have to. Maybe it'll pop up on our map in the meantime, though. But I will take some free sigils. Yes, please. And thank you. 15. I th did they buff it? Debuff it more? I thought it was 18. I will take that heart. I can, I'll can. i take... Oh, goodness. Oh, wait, wait, wait for it. Wait for them to almost get to me. And then dash. Nope. I didn't even dash. Ah, <sighs> This is really engaging right here, you guys. It was what I was saying. Fang of Vog. Not a lot of reason to use it, but it's a fun weapon. My goodness, the charges and stuff... Uh, in the last one, we had some Trojans in the arena, because, again, the level just before this one, in the first run, was a Cadaverous Clash arena. Got to use the Fang of Vog a lot there, and was having basically a blast. I'll take any excuse I can, any valid excuse to... There's the elevator. Did How long has that been there? I guess since just now. Okay, I want to clear a battle space. Any excuse I can... I have to use the, the Fang of Vog, I will absolutely do so. All right, we just want to do this so that we have an open playing field. That's fine. I don't care about you guys. The other thing you can do with this guy, because the tentacles aren't very good, at turning. So we can just keep going in a circle like this. He does light on fire. He lights on fire for three ticks. Oh. Let's do... No, 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 no. Come out. No. He... Yeah, if you go invisible for just a second, he goes, No, I don't see you anymore, and despawns. Alright. Souls also light on fire. One tick, two ticks. Oh, more fire. They're sitting in the fire, so they're going to keep burning. I didn't even get those. Come out of the... I am... I am getting caught. There's no way. But maybe we can do this, and maybe he'll walk into the bomb radius. Come on, get closer. Shield shielding before he does his thing. Okay, see, now there's a bunch of bushes in the way, and I can't even circle strafe effectively. Okay. Maybe we'll try this. Get lit on fire. Thank you. That's one strike. Okay. Use that. Use that. There's nothing else I can do at this point. Oh, I should have shielded. What was I thinking? Not much, apparently. Alright, so now we'll charge this up do this again. If we die, I don't know if he's going to disappear again, to be honest. Use that too. We will shield. I think we can withstand one more, at least. And yeah, okay. So we'll try and get around in a... Bushes! Bushes in the... No, no, no. Oh my goodness. That's me going down. He may just despawn too. Is he going to despawn because I'm down? Please stay up. No, he's down. No! It worked so much better the first time. All right, so now I'm at a disadvantage because I no longer have an E-Revive. I no longer have any vowels or anything. I can choose my battlefield this time. So we're going to clear this space, and please don't have any Grave Scarabs. Thank you. I've never seen something spawn so close to the... No Grave Scarabs. Souls, I'll mess with you until the guy comes back, until the Harvester comes back. Wow. Four, or three instead of four. Alas. Okay. You are just being... Why did you do that? I don't understand. Did I walk into your blind spot? Why did you just disappear? He's supposed to, like, keep coming after me. Are you a fear in me? Alright, let's get this up. It seems like he burns for three ticks of fire, is what it seemed like. Oh, come on. Come on. Stay in there. Keep burning. So that you delay for as long as possible. I will take this. Just stay where you are, and I'm going to keep circle strafing you. 
tentacles should not reach me. Because, oh, they did. Okay, well, we got some damage in. I don't think it may or, it may or may not be enough. I'm kind of afraid to keep combustoring because, or keep Fang of Vogue charging, because it's going to kill me. Maybe we can poison him. Yeah, we got him poisoned and got stuck. Can you come this way? Walk this way. Ugh. There we go. Half health. He's eating away at my health way too fast for this. This is just... This is not working out. We're about to fail the challenge after I successfully succeeded the challenge the first time. Ugh. I'm going down. That's it. And he's going to despawn too. I don't think... Even if I get up, I think he's going to go away. He's gone. Oh, well, goes to show you, that's a re there's a reason why they buffed his health. I, uh, I'm very dissatisfied with that, to be completely honest. I even had my Barbarous Thorn Shield here, because, you know, it's Barbarous Thorn Shield versus Swift Strike Buckler. Maybe we'll try one more in the next depth, depth just for kicks and giggles. He wanted to come down on the elevator with me. I was hoping for a health capsule. Oh, well. Had a good amount of health capsules, because death 18 for us was in another arena. So we got some tier 3 health files, we had some tier 2 health files, and we did great. Once again, I will show you the footage of that at the end. But Barbarous Thorn Shield I have because it's all about damage per second, right, is what you want to get out. Uh, and if you can reduce the amount of damage, I think for me and my combustor, having damage bonus very high will reduce the number of swings it takes to kill a fiend from three to two. So one, two will kill a fiend. And I think a soul, it reduces the number of swings. Number of swings beats attack speed any day. So what that means is I'd rather have, I only have chaos and volcanic demo. So chaos is damage bonus medium. The shield is damage bonus medium, which puts me at damage bonus very high because I want to kill the fiends twice as fast. There is a button there. And if we can find some fire, or water. We can throw some water on this fire, step on a button in there, and it spawns more guys. This is the Trojan that comes to life, and I kind of don't want to... It didn't come to life. Okay. It normally comes to life. How's that? It always has for me in the past, the single one. That's odd. If we find some water, maybe we'll try and find our way back. Eh. Anyways, the shield reduces the number of swings, and I'd rather have a number of swings than have to swing three times, period. Two swings is better than three swings in almost every case. Especially the slower the sword goes, the more important it is for you to swing fewer times. So I wanted the shield for the damage bonus rather than the swift strike buckler. Just on principle more than anything, so I can swing less. So that's why I have this shield instead of the Swift Strike Buckler. So when in doubt, you should do your own calculations with your own weapons and see what loadouts you're using and figure out, especially if you're in a place where you can switch up loadouts as you go, and figure out whether you want that Black Cat Cow damage bonus high plus your Chaos Armor, which is damage bonus medium, plus your shield for damage bonus maximum. Like, do you really need that damage is the question that you need to be asking. And if not, definitely Swift Strike Buckler is the way to go. I don't, I'm not ready yet. I don't want you yet. And I deviated from my path. I'm going to do this, this one time, because I'm not ready to fight him yet. All right. Oh, what are you doing? Once again, he does take a significant amount of damage, and that's what causes him to despawn. So when you kill him, you're not actually doing anything, according to the game. You're just making him respawn. No Grave Scarabs. Okay, I will take this. This is okay. I should be using Combustor for more damage. Unless it happens to light them on fire. Okay, let's see if we can circle. Nope, he just disappeared. Okay, we'll try and kill more. Clear more space. Alright, I want the battle to take place here. He's in the light. Is he gonna despawn? No, he's not. Oh, it's tight. Ooh, that's a tough spot. Light on fire. Ticks for once, twice, you see? Numbers coming off of him, three times. And then he cures himself, so he has some fire resistance. Which is interesting. Okay, this might work better. I really want to set down an Ash of Agony in there. And I want to get at least one Fang of Vogue charge in, so we'll Fang of Vogue charge next. Oh, I missed. 
That's not good. And I don't want to back up far enough that he despawns, because that happens too. And that would not be cool. Alright, you. Eat it. And I didn't even light on fire. That's cool. So we'll do it again, at least until I light on fire once. And again, circle strafing really helps. Alright. Oh, that was solid. Will he burn? Okay, I think we have to Ash of Agni now, because we're about to... Okay, we want to catch just the catch him in the fire, not the bomb blast, because we want him to burn to death. So keep moving in a circle. Tentacles. Get him lit on fire there. Every time he gets caught by the fire, he takes an extra tick of damage, and the ticks stack, I think, to a certain extent. So actually having multiple rings of fire is a good thing. Because you can see numbers are coming off of him more often now. 31, 31, 31, double 31. Rather than... We did it. Finally. That was a kill with fire. You guys saw it. Slash cheer. We killed it with fire. Mission accomplished after we failed it. And this time we only took damage from just us. Like the first time was abysmal. And the second time with no health capsules. We just took damage from our own fire damage. That was ideal. So there you go. Damage bonus. Very helpful. More more helpful than the Swift Strike Buckler, I'd say. I mean, I was debating for a while which one to choose, and I said, I will make this decision, and I will tell you exactly why. And that's exactly why. So, this thing is pretty. I wish there were more of these kinds of light things, so I could just stand in them and do, an out do video outros. But hey, I'd say that was successful. Keep watching to the end just to see the, the initial kill that I made without my reaction, unfortunately, but hey. If you want to do your own kill it with fire run, or suggest other runs for me to do in the comments, go ahead and let me know. If you can kill him faster than me, uh, if you're in a deeper depth, props to you and all that, let me know how fast you killed him. I'm not really going to calculate the time. But if you think you could do it better, try it. I don't know. It's kind of a boring fight, but hey, I mean, at least you can say you did it, right? If you have other challenges for me to do, either PvP or PvE, be sure to leave those in the comments. Thank you guys for watching, and I'm going to change up the outro. We've been doing, like, this we will see you next time thing, but everyone does that, and it's just me usually, not we. So I think we're going to say have a good one. I think that's going to be the thing from now on. Why am I announcing it? Because I'm awesome. No, very much not so. Hmm. Right there. Ha. Ha. It worked. It was perfect. Uh, that was Kill It With Fire. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And until the next video, have a good one.